Hi everyone and welcome back to Computer Science for Everyone. This time we're going to move on from teaching Java programming by itself and we're going to create our first full-blown program. It's going to be a fairly simple program and it's only going to ask the user for its age and then display some information based on that. So the first step on program development as we've seen is to find out what the requirements for the program are. What is the program going to do? So the first thing we're going to do is ask the user for their age. This is fairly simple and we'll use the scanner class that we've seen so far. And then we're going to tell their age separately in minutes, days and months they have lived. So for the user input we'll use the scanner class and then we're going to read the number of years they've lived for. This is going to be an integer of course so we're going to need a variable to store the number of years. And we're going to use a scanner object to read in this data. So the user input would be like this. We'd have our, our scanner. We're going to call it scan. It's going to be a new scanner. It's going to read from the default input. And then we're going to have the number of years as a variable that we read. Obviously, we would have some sort of question we'd ask the user before reading the integer. And then to calculate the minutes, days, and months, this is fairly simple. Minutes would be years, which is, for example, 10 years, uh, 365 days in each year. There's 24 hours in each day and 60 minutes in each hour. So uh, this is how we'd calculate the number of minutes. Days is years times 365. Months is years times 12. Okay. So... What we'll do is we will round down to only show the actual minutes lived and not, for example, uh, 1,765, sorry, 15,765.5 minutes. Um, we would skip the 0.5 and only show the 15,765 minutes. Although, showing the minutes and seconds like displayed there could be a good way to improve this program, we will not do this for now. You can do this by yourself if you think you can. That would be a great thing you should try by yourselves. Okay, so this is how we do it. Int months equals years times 12. Days is years times 365. And the minutes, it's going to be days times 24 times 60. If days is years times 365, then minutes is essentially years times 365 times 24 times 60 or days times 24 times 60. So here we're just using a variable we've created previously to calculate the minutes. Um, because this way we have to type less. Okay, in order to print back to the user, we would use system.out.println. And as we know, this can be used to print both strings and numbers like int. And we can concatenate them with the plus sign, like so. So system.out.println, and then number of months, and then plus after the end of the string. Remember how, see how we close the, the quotation mark and that makes the string up and then we put the plus sign and then the variable. Similarly for the number of days and the number of minutes. So all of this is going to go inside a class which we're going to call age calculator. In the real world we don't have any object that does this function. So if I say age calculator is an object that you could see in the real world it is not technically true because it doesn't exist. However this is one of the brilliant things about programming. You can create objects of things that don't exist in the real world simply because the technology to make them isn't there or no one has created this or it just isn't something that should be created because why would you want a physical object to tell you the number of seconds you, or minutes or days or months you've lived? Um, so we will create an object called age calculator. And this is an object, even though it cannot exist or it wouldn't exist in real life, it can exist as an object that will perform this function of calculating your age inside a computer simply because it is a lot cheaper to produce inside a computer than making a physical object. This is why the physical object doesn't exist in the real world, but we can create it here for the sake of testing. All of the code we've seen will go inside a main method, so that runs with the program starts. However, we will have different methods inside our program to do different things like ask the user for value or um, calculate the number of months, 
uh, days and years lived. Um, and we'll make these in different methods so that we can further learn about method creation and returning values and, and all that good stuff. So, in the next video, we're going to program this fully. Stick around, and we will go on to the next one and try to make this program. So, I'll see you in the next one.